I think people in the city of New York have had an extraordinarily difficult time. I, I think COVID hit New York harder than anywhere else in the country, and not by a little bit, but by a lot. And I think the impacts and the things that we're seeing even right now about the conversations dealing with Mr. Floyd and the issue of inequitable policing is something that New York has had a history of dealing with. So I think right now with New York, the thing that we're asking New Yorkers to do is keep using your voice. Don't give that up, but also asking that we stay together because that's also the only way we're gonna get to a better place. I think what we're watching right now in the city and what we're watching right now around the country, um, it's not that anything has changed. I just think people are paying attention. I think so many of the issues that we are debating and the, and the, and the things that we are fighting for right now, uh, these aren't new things, but now the veil has been uncovered. And now people see that these are things that none of us have the luxury to turn a blind eye to. And so we fight and we advocate for justice of all forms. We fight because we know that the system and the structures that we are living in right now have a taint and underlying feeling of injustice that's supporting them. And so the way I think about this moment right now is we demand justice of all forms for everybody. Thank you.